Hello everyone, Android user here today bringing you an app review of Lucky Patcher 1.5.2 for Android. Before I get started talking about this app, let me just say that in order to use it, you need to root your phone. And while a lot of users shy away from rooting it, if you root the phone and use this application, you can basically, you'll never have to pay for applications ever again on the market. Any ones that are paid, you can get it for free. So just keep that in mind before you stop watching this video. In order to root your phone, there are many different ways according to what phone you're using. For example, I'm using a Motorola phone, so I have to use a program called RDS Lite. Others, such as Samsung, uses Odin, and HTC has their own bootloader unlocking and so forth. What this app does is that instead of paying for the app, it basically patches the application so that it will run without having you to pay it. When you use this patcher, it will remove the license verification and that way you won't have to verify your license and you can use it. So without further ado, let's open the application. First thing that happens is that, since I've opened this before, but it'll ask you for a super user saying that uh, this application is asking for more control of your phone. And in order to for it to work, it needs more control, so you just allow it. What it does is load the applications first. As you can see, I have all my apps loaded here and what it does is that it is split into four categories the first one is if it's a very popular application such as titanium backup right here then they would actually have a custom patch if it is not a custom patch such as other ones like MX Moto or Nexus Revamp Pro they have a license verification by using that, you can remove the licensing verification problem and use the app to its full potential without paying for the app. So far, I've looked on the market and this Lucky Patcher is not on the market. I'm going to include a link to download it in my description. The next category is Google Ads Found, and that is where apps contain Google Ads and you can use this patcher to remove the Google Apps. And the last category is for ones that are not found. They're not found mostly because either they're obsolete, such as this keyboard, they don't sell apps anymore, and or they're just uh, free, so there's no need for it to patch. But for the ones that need to be patched, they have they often have the custom patch or license verification. So by patching the app, you can use it to its full capacity without paying for the full price. There are other applications as well, such as the ROM Toolbox Pro. I'm using the light one, so, because that one's free, but if I had the full APK, I would be able to use this and patch it and use all of the functions. Another popular one which I don't have on here is the power amp player. They also have the licensing verification for the power amp as well and that is very useful since power amp is a very popular application out there. What you do, pick the one that you want. So for example, I'll pick the Nexus one. Oops. So it gives you a few options, launch, uninstall, clear data, or open menu of patches. Clearing data is just like removing uh, history, user data, and such. These things, it's sort of like a maintenance. So you can also use it as a application uninstaller or so forth. The next one, this one is the most important one, open menu for of patches. So as you can see, there are several options here. First one is remove license verification. If I remove it, I'll be able to use the full application without the restrictions of using an 
unpaid one. I can remove Google Ads. I can fix the Dalvac changes, change permissions, and create a modified APK. I'm just going to explain the first three because um, that one's a bit too complicated. But by using this one, you can remove the license verification and then it will basically do it by itself. And it'll tell you that it is successful. And the next one is moving Google Ads. And then the same thing will happen. The third one is create modify APK. And what it does is that it creates APK that has the patch already functional. That way, when you use this APK again on another phone, it will be already patched. Also, in general, I think for it to be modified already is very beneficial so if you keep a bunch of apps stored you can keep the modified APK and it will help you. Next one is backup which is backup the user data and restore and which is using the ones that you saved before. To get to the patch menu quickly you just long hold and you go to the same place. As I said earlier, this is actually very powerful if you use it correctly. I don't have too many paid apps to show you, but the idea is very simple. The rest of them is such as changing the view, updating, which it updates by itself, and you can sort it by name and status. Certain currently is that sorted by status, and there is troubleshooting language and so forth. And that's about it. So I hope this app will be able to help you to use your apps better. This is Android User, and thank you for listening.